Hello and welcome friends of our homestead to our brand new this week's video what's happened on the farm. In this week's video we like to show you what we use this huge machine for and how a couple of boards can make our life so much easier. And we like to show you what's up in the garden. Don't forget to subscribe for our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you are always up to date and know what's new on the farm. A couple of years ago I bought this big shredding machine from ARP. You can shredder mostly everything with that machine so it doesn't matter if it's made out of plastic or it's made out of wood or paper whatever. She eats everything. Most of the time we use her to shredder bark, to make bark mulch out of it. But uh, in this case we use it to shredder paper or uh, cartons. Believe me, shredder paper or carton can be a very very good stuff that you can use in the garden. Cartons and paper are 99% made of cellulose. So a cellulose is exact that what your night crawlers and rainworms like to eat. And if you have a lot of night crawlers, you have good soil to grow your plants. And if you like to have a lot of night crawlers, you have to feed them. And there is no easier way than to feed them with cellulose. Because of we don't want to waste anything, we collect all our paper and cartons, shredder them in the shredding machine, mix it with the soil into the garden to make a super nice environment for night crawlers. We always try to make sure we don't get any plastic tape from the cartons into the shredding machine because of it's not a problem for the shredding machine but the rain worms or night crawlers don't like any plastic and same with the uh, staples we always try to make sure we don't get any staples pieces of metal into the shredding machine. After a lot of cartons and paper are shredded, we put them in bags and move it into the garden and put it right on top of the soil, in this case for the potatoes. I don't know how, but there is always one chicken that find a way to come into the garden. Doesn't matter how high or how proper your fence is built. Maybe there are too many night crawlers, but you can never have enough of them. After all the seed potatoes are covered with paper, we covered the paper with topsoil and that's good because of that keeps the soil wet enough to let the potatoes grow.
and whatever is left over on shredded paper goes to the compost pile. What a nice big one! But now it's time to build something.
we have lots of animals on the farm and we have to carry a lot of water more than 100 liter a day so from now we don't have to do this anymore by hand we can use the side by side to move the water a 30 gallon plastic drum will do the job from now together with the side by side We made the construction for the water barrel so high as we can and now we have a good water flow because of the water is gravity feed. The water pressure is high enough, the hose is long enough and we can reach all the chicken drinker and the pig drinker right from the side by side without any problems. piece of flat aluminum between the two ammunition boxes on both sides on the side by side gives us more space for storage. Now it's an original. And after a week, check out how it works. That's the final version. We decide to have one more foot of water in our garden pond. There are two ways to do it. Maybe you can hire a beaver, but if you can't find one, you have to do it yourself. So, I have to do it myself. And I'm never alone. If it's not Tom Turkey, it's a chicken. Or two or three or more.
I don't know how many boxes of concrete I moved into that ditch, but it felt like there were a hundred. Or more. We planted hundreds of onions. Or more. much more enough that the back hurts The onions we planted two weeks ago are doing good. The strawberries are covered with old hay. The potatoes, the tomatoes and the peppers are doing good in the small greenhouse. The irrigation system works great. Two different kinds of cucumbers, the beans and the tomatoes are doing good in the hydroponic greenhouse. These are the tomato plants from last year that I showed you in the last video. They are doing good, unbelievable, they are more than one and a half year old now. Our other little plants are doing good and they wait that they get moved out of the greenhouse into the soil. Cabbage and cauliflower are doing good. Same with beans and peas. Okay, the outside potatoes need a little longer. The red onions are doing good. And the other plants in the big greenhouse are doing a good figure too. That's Elvis, our new Muscovy male duck. He's keeping an eye off his ladies while they are sitting on their eggs. Two little baby goats left the farm to a new home. If you like to know why we built this little livestock shelter and why we changed our plan and what we built here, you have to wait until the next week's video is online so thank you for watching this video and we hope you follow us next week again.